what's up maker Rob Papa here and what I'm going to do today is actually taking you into a journey of Wizuino again where we're taking Arduino and we're putting some shift res resistors and uh, we'll connect the shift resistors with some LED meters and encoder to actually shift them so what we're going to do is to take this to guys I'm just kidding so Wizuino is a software not a hardware so let's jump into the computer and I'll show you how easy it is to take all of this mess in a very simple way. Okay, so here's the board and all we have over here is just the Arduino. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Hopefully it will stay focused. So all we have is the Arduino Uno over here that is connected to two shift registers. And the reason that we need two shift registers is because I needed basically 10 outputs. Um, here's a little bit a uh, different view of the same controller. All it is, and once again, let me try to zoom in over here. All it is is just a bunch of individual LEDs, so 10 of them, that has their positive and then the negative. So you're connecting, um, I actually think this is the positive side and this is the negative. So you're connecting the resistors and then you can turn individually each level of the and this one is the battery and what we have over here is actually not a battery it's just an indicator so if we could zoom back into this there we go so you can see how the wires over here are connected to the two shift registers so that it can actually show you how you can pass information from uh, one the first shift registers to the next one with this output over here and then it's connected through LEDs. And the way we can actually control it is by having this encoder, which is a continuous rotation of, um, of the wheel. So it's not like a, a pod or anything like that. Those are really, uh, usually used for volume control because they are continuing, uh, continuing and it's just uh, telling it which direction and what is the value. So let's go into the computer and I'll show you how you can take all of this and in very simple drag and drop control it with uh, Wizwina. Okay guys, here we are in the Wizwina uh, software. I'm using uh, 7.8.3.60. Our board that we're choosing is <coughs> the Adreno Uno. So what I, the way I like to start is to actually start dropping all the components and then connecting them. So we know we will need um, a bar, which is the LED bar. And we'll put it over here. <clears throat> and we know that we also need a shift resistor. So we'll do shift and it's right over here. And the way I like to think about it, um, well, the, the way I'm thinking about Wizmino software with all the component it, components is um, kind of like a back to front. And what I mean by that is that the components that we're actually adding over here into the Wizwino are not necessarily connected to directly to your components. So we have an LED display over here. That's really doesn't mean that the, the software itself connected to that component or the shift register. We don't really connect um, to that IC. What that means is that <clears throat> the Wizwino is actually going to tell Arduino what data needs to be sent to those uh, ICs or components, etc. So from the software, it's sending um, all that business logic that otherwise you will code within Arduino uh, to how to interact with the GPIOs. So we can see that we have uh, 10 bars over here. Um, so one thing that um, it's a really cool feature. If you notice, with you hovering on the bars pins, there's a little bit of an icon right over here where I'm clicking. And with this, you can actually click and drag, and it will increase, or you can even shrink it. Um, so that's a cool feature. Another cool feature is if you click on um, an array of pins, like this one that we have here, it automatically will select all of the pins and then you can just connect them all together. 
So we have the shift register. We know that we need 10 LED bars. But if you think about it, we want to go from not showing to showing the, the, the full bar. Uh, so really, we want to um, increase by one bar. So I can do it either the way I did it over here, drag and dropping, or I can actually come here and just say 11. And we know for the shift register, um, we have eight items. Um, we really need to uh, to have 10. And this is what I'm talking about, like that it's not really connected um, to your shift register. Because if you look at that, we can increase the number of channels. We have the data, the clock, and the latch, but you don't have, for example, the um, output enable or how do you connect um, the, the QTIC and stuff like that. That is where you really need to use your wires um, in order for you to do that. So on my Arduino, uh, we are connecting the data to pin 10. And uh, latch to pin 9. And the clock to pin 8. Now, the reason that, um, as I mentioned, we increasing the bar over here. Um, so we know that when we want the first bar to be on, then it will send that value to the shift. So we want to keep this one empty. Um, one thing, if I disconnect this um, links, one thing I uh, couldn't find, and maybe someone can uh, comment in the uh, comment section below is if I want to connect pin 1 to 10 as an example, I didn't find a way for me to do that um, by selecting all of them because now it's all selected and I can only connect basically pin 0 to 9 and then the 10th one is empty. I cannot like just go up and say, oh, connect pin 1. It seems like it's selecting um, like a different kind of pens. So if you know how to do that, leave a comment in the description, in the comment area below uh, so everyone can actually enjoy that. But for now, we'll just connect each pin from the LED bar, which the software will tell um, the shift resistor what data does it need to send. And that data will be on the, the data pin, as well as the latch and the clock. And that will tell the Arduino to turn on, like high or low, those corresponding pins um, that we set up over here. So as you can see, it's like th this is where you're dealing with the, basically the business logic that you would have otherwise needed to code by yourself within the Arduino IDE. Uh, but you just, you know, all that business logic is hiding behind those components. All right, so let me zoom out a little bit so we can see a little bit more of the view. Um, so now, how do we control this? As, as I mentioned in the um, intro, we actually going to use an encoder. So let's drag the encoder over here. And you can see that the encoder itself has a clock in a direction. So all that an encoder is doing is really uh, seeing when a value goes from low to high, and that will count as one count. And it knows which direction it actually came from. Is it counterclockwise or clockwise? And that gives you the direction. So this component is actually hiding from you all of that complexity. So my clock is actually connected to uh, pin 6. So we'll drag this to pin six as the output. And we'll drag the direction to pin seven. So now um, we have two options. We can either set the min and max value of the encoder over here and then connect the output of that encoder to here. 
But I want to show you guys another option, which is to use actually a, uh, a counter, up and down counter. And if we put it like this, you can see that the output of the encoder has an up and down, and the up and down counter has up and down. So we can connect these two together. And then the output of this in, uh, count to be the output, the input for the LED bar. So now we can come here and I need to move my ID a little bit. We can come here and we say for the encoder itself, um, let me move it a little bit. So for the counter itself, not encoder, the maximum value, I will want 11. And the minimum value, I will want zero. And you'll understand why it's doing 11 in a minute. Okay. So that means that as we rotating the value, it will continue incrementing, <coughs> excuse me, but the counter itself will put 11. We could avoid using the counter by sending those limits right over here. Um, and one thing that I want to do is actually say, don't roll over. So the rollover means that if you got all the way to the maximum and you continue rolling, let's say uh, clockwise, it will eventually will start over. Okay, so um, this is everything that you need to do in order to actually run this. So let me compile. And I'll show you a demo over here on the board. Um, one thing that I will mention over here, that in the LED bar display, there's an option for a single bar. And I'll do, demo that, what that means, um, after I show you guys this. Okay, so here we are, and uh, the microcontroller already pushed the code to it. Um, so if I'll take now the rotary one, and I'll start moving it, you can see that the bars are actually increasing all the way to blue. Then I can lower it and it goes down all the way to zero. Going up and then going down. If we set up the single bar, um, so it will actually will not um, build on top of each other. It will just be a single bar. So let me pause for a second and I'll push the code and I'll come right back. Okay, so I pushed the code with a single bar. So now let's see the difference. You can see that only a single bar is actually going up all the way to blue. There you go. And then you can go all the way down. Going all the way up, going all the way down. And I had the extra value, so you can see it's actually disappearing. So it can go like this. So that's really easy, um, and that's really it, uh, guys. Um, uh, very simple to use, uh, thanks to the uh, Visuino software. You didn't need to deal with which direction the encoder is actually coming from and going to. Um, you know, you didn't need to deal with a lot of the configuration of the shift resistor, right? All you needed to do is connect the pins. Um, and then also the bar itself, which is being, um, you know, run by the shift resistor. So a lot of this uh, kind of like software slash brain is being done behind the scene with the Visuino. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, did you like it? Did you not? How do you think you will be able to use this in your project? Um, and, and how can you make this even better? Leave some comments in the, the, uh, below. And I will leave a, a link in the description uh, for the uh, for the file for the Visuino, so you can actually take a look at that. Um, if you're new here, welcome, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the the bell so you can get the notification. Otherwise, thank you guys. Uh, hope you will enjoy uh, you enjoy that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.